everybody it's good to see you online with us i've seen a number of people come online that's the one benefit of watching it on facebook because i can see who is with us because your name comes up as uh, you greet us so welcome everybody it's lovely to be with you yes we did not expect to be broadcasting like this this morning but that is the world we live in and um, i care about you i care about our congregation there may be a risk and we're not willing, uh, willing to take that chance. So um, we're trusting that uh, we should have been in church. We're trusting that we're wrong. We're trusting that there's been no COVID and no spread of COVID in our church. And, and I don't believe it is the case. 
But we're going to trust the Lord this morning. And we are going to have a phenomenal service. You see, we had something very special planned for today. We were just going to worship the Lord. We were The worship team prepared. And that is why we weren't able to gather today. Because they practiced on Thursday night and they were all together. And, and of course, some of our worship team work in other areas in ministry in the church. And the risk would just have been too great. Because uh, if there is COVID, you know. I'm not going to say anything more. I'm tired of that word. It's like a swear word. <laughs> um, but we're still going to praise and worship the Lord. I'm going to lead you in praise and worship today. And we're going to enter the Lord's presence and there's going to be victory. Just want to greet everybody that I've seen coming online and a lot of our folk online. It's so good to see you. Diane and John, Tony Jordan. Um, I might greet you twice because your name sometimes comes back more than once. To Missani and Prudence and family. Karina and Billy, uh, women are with us. My wife has just logged on so that we can see whether Facebook is working properly. Uh, Greg and, and Macy, uh, Pastor Frank and Lorraine, Annalise and Melania are with us, Erica Flint, Mark and Beth Skeen, Orville Matimba. I'm assuming that it's, uh, it's Brilliance and his family that are online with us there. Um, who else is there? Larry and Lulu are with us. Ah, it's wonderful to see the church. Denise, and I'm quite sure Clayton's also online. Aniki, Jordan, and Tony. It's good to see you folk. And we love you. And uh, we're going to have a fantastic service. I'm going to ask Pastor Cheryl to pray for us and greet you. And uh, then we'll sing two songs. She'll then do the offering. And I'll, I'll briefly speak. And we're going to go into a time of praise and worship. Good evening. Good morning, everyone. It's good to see you. Uh, everyone this morning and uh, we are online again um, we at least we are still able to have service even if we cannot have service in church this morning so let's pray father we thank you for this day for this is a day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it we thank you lord that even though we cannot gather together in church we are united in one as one as we worship in our homes and we pray lord that your holy spirit would be very present in each home speaking to each one's heart as we praise and we glorify you today we thank you and we give you glory for you alone are worthy of all praise and adoration amen 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 thank you well here we go um, we're ready to get going. I just want to spend a moment praying for um, Kirsty and Gareth. Um, and I'll tell you what, the symptoms are simple. They, um, they, 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 their tummies are upset and they've got sore throats. And that, that is why we've, we've made this choice. They'll have tests and we'll let them know. But let's pray for them and the worship team that everybody is well. Good morning, Karen and the Wong family. Father, we come to you this morning and we pray for our worship team. We thank you that they are precious to us. Lord, we thank you that they lead us into your presence. Thank you that they committed themselves and they went and practiced on Thursday night. And we pray that, that your hand of protection has been upon them. We pray for Kirsty and Gareth, your healing hand upon them. Normally this would just be a minor ailment and nobody be, would be too worried about it. But because of the circumstances and what's going on around us, we have to be more careful. But we pray, Lord, that those tests will come back negative and next week we will have a massive time of celebration in the church together as a body. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, what I've had to do is um, choose some of the older songs because we don't have any words on the screen. So I trust that you'll know the words. Please worship with us. Please enter in because today is going to be a day of victory and of glory.
trust in you. Blessed is your name, Lord. We worship you. You are our rock of ages. You're our eternal rock. Lord, you're the rock that cannot be shaken or moved. And Lord, when we stand on you, we are steadfast and we are firm. Our houses are built on the rock and not on the sand. The storms may come and go, but Lord, we will not be moved because you are our rock. We bless you this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, welcome to everybody else that's come online. In the meantime, I see we've got uh, Jean. I don't know if I'm saying it right, or Jean Fersfeld. Good to have you with us. Um, I don't know if anybody else has come on in the meantime, but uh, welcome to you all. I'm going to hand over to Pastor Cheryl for the offering. Uh, after that, um, I'll take over, and then we'll also go into that time of worship. Hallelujah. This morning, um, I want to uh, just give the announcements first. Uh, please remember our prayer meetings on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday nights. Monday at 6.30 and then Wednesday and Friday night at 7 uh, to 7.30. Um, we have seen God move mightily in this time. Many people have been healed and circumstances changed. And so we continue to uh, pray and bring the requests to people. Uh, to the Lord, request of the people to the Lord. Then on Tuesday night, uh, our Bible college uh, res uh, new term uh, begins. Uh, if you're not, uh, if you if you're not registered, uh, it's not too late. Um, you can speak to uh, Dr. Shirley about that. And then on uh, Wednesday morning, 
Uh, Dr. Shirley also runs a ladies' Bible study. And ladies, if you're interested in joining, please contact her as well. And then on Friday night, we have our youth at Hopper 7 as well. So we are starting to resume more of our um, normal uh, uh, teachings and uh, services um, as we felt the Lord has led us. Uh, for our offering this morning, I'm going to read to you from Chronicles 16 and uh, verse 27. Um, it says, Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples, give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the glory, the Lord, the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him, O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And so our giving is part of, um, of our worship to the Lord. And this morning as you give, give with a heart of gratitude. Give with uh, thanksgiving to the Lord. Give that offering to him that is well, he is well deserving on, of. And as, a, as, a, as we give to the Lord, um, we are saying, Lord, thank you. And that we rely on you for our provision. Um, obviously, we are not in church, so you cannot bring the offering. But you can uh, give either using our step scan or via EFT. Or even just put the money into an envelope that you would have given. And as I pray, just lift it up to the Lord as an offering. And next Sunday when you come, you can give that offering into the collection bowl. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you that uh, we can give an offering to you. We thank you, Lord, that you are the one who are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And we place our trust in in you that lord that you would meet our needs but that lord that we as we give we give it to extend your kingdom and we thank you that we have the privilege of giving to you we pray it in your mighty name jesus amen amen, amen. have a wonderful day all right um thank you pastor shiro uh, it might seem strange that we do offerings at a time like this but as she said, offering is part of our worship, and we must never forget that. Um, you know, the Lord's not broke. Sometimes we need money, but the Lord's never broke. Uh, but He looks for our obedience, and He wants to bless us. That's why Paul wrote, when the people helped Him, My God shall be sufficient uh, for you. He, he, he will meet us in our needs. Um, he will provide for us in our needs. All right. Um, I just want to briefly speak to you this morning about praise and worship. Why were we going to sing? Why were we just going to have worship? Morning, Brian. It's good to see you online with us and your family, you and Titi and, and the little ones. Uh, why do I want to sing and praise and worship? You know, we can sing and praise and worship anytime we want. We can sing in our car. We can sing at home. But corporate praise and worship is incredibly important and a lifestyle of praise and worship is incredibly important. Praise and worship is not just uh, singing songs, but music uh, plays an incredibly important part in our um, our walk with the Lord and in our worship of the Lord. Good morning, Rabina. There is so much going on. And last Sunday morning in church, um, so one of our worship team members prayed and said, people are having such a rough time. And it hit me so hard. And I realized what a difficult time people are actually having uh, because of COVID and for other reasons too, not just COVID, but other reasons too. Financial issues, health issues, family problems, um, depression. People are battling. Uh, Christians, even Christians are battling. And the Lord put on my heart, you need to praise me. You need to Take time to praise me. And last Sunday morning, in my, my heart, I made up my mind that today we wouldn't have preaching, we'd have praising. And now I'm going to do a bit of preaching just before we praise. Um, the battle that we're facing could be many things. Fear, worry, distress, anxiety, depression. The Bible 
contains many records of people who faced similar situations, disappointment, challenge, and but they came out on the other side as overcomers. And many times, the, result, the reason for their victory was they resorted to praise and worship. So what should our response be in times like this when we're facing difficulties? Praise and worship. Prayer. Seeking the Lord's face. Don't run everywhere. Don't run away. You know, it's, uh, I said to somebody this week about a situation, oh, I just want to run away. And immediately I said, I bind that because that's a Jezebel thing. You know, when uh, Elijah called down the rain and, 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 and the fire, well, he called down the rain. It didn't rain for three and a half years. And then he, he took the prophets of Baal on. And then he called down fire from heaven and everything was consumed. And he killed all the prophets of Baal. And uh, Jezebel sent a message. And she said, I'm going to do the same to you. And Elijah ran. We can't run from our problems because it's that, that thing. That, 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 it's the same attitude. It's the same demon that's behind it to try and chase us and get us running. But instead of running, we need to praise. We need to run to God. We need to start praising him and say, Lord, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I praise you because your spirit is in me. That's what we need to do. And yeah, in Psalm 22 verse 3, the word says, but you are holy enthroned in the praises of Israel. When you and I praise, and it's talking about Israel as a nation. When you and I praise together, and we are online and we are together, we may be separate, but we are together in spirit. When we praise God, He is enthroned in our praises. He indwells our praises. If you want to invite God's presence into your home, into your life, start to praise Him, because He indwells your praises. He's there when you praise Him. And in His presence, there's fullness of joy. If He's there in the midst of your praises, His joy is going to come into your heart. Because that's what his word says. So we can trust him for that. What is the power of praise? Psalm 108 verse 5 to 6. Be exalted, O God, above the heaven. And your glory above all the earth. That your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and hear me. He is exalted. His glory is, a, is um, manifest when we exalt him. And salvation comes. Save with your right hand. And hear me. Psalm 108 verse 3 to 4. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. And I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your mercy is great above the heavens. And your truth reaches to the, crowd, uh, to the clouds. Salvation, mercy and grace comes when we start to praise and worship the Lord. We all know the story of Paul and Silas. So I don't have to tell you the whole story. But the two of them had been walking wrong, along. And the slave girl that was demon possessed was walking behind declaring these are servants of the Most High God. And eventually Paul got fed up. You and I also sometimes get fed up. And Paul turned around and he bound that demon and he cast it out of that woman. And as a result, Paul and Silas got thrown into jail. They were first beaten, they were whipped. And we read in Acts chapter 16 that they were in an inner cell fastened, and I'm reading from the word, fastened, they, they, their feet were fastened in stocks, and then about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Can you imagine praying and singing to God in that situation? Sore, beaten, whipped, dark, musty, locked up, your feet in stocks. You, you, you saw and you can't even move. But they were praising God in the midst of these circumstances. What circumstances have you and I faced that is worse than that? I don't think we've faced anything that's worse than that. I personally have never faced something that's worse than that. But suddenly there was a violent earthquake and the foundations of the prison were shaken. And all at once the prison doors flew open. See, the enemy's trying to keep us in prison. He's trying to keep us down. And everybody's chains came loose. And the jailer woke up and when he saw the prison doors were open, he drew his sword to, and was about to kill himself. Because if those prisoners had escaped, that would have been his lot in any case. Uh, they would have killed him. Uh, because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself. We are all here. So the jailer called for lights, rushed in and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and asked, sirs, what must I do to be saved? You see, when we praise and worship, salvation comes. And Paul and Silas took that hopeless situation of theirs 
and used it as an opportunity to praise and worship God and it became an opportunity for evangelism. It came, became an opportunity for God's power to be manifest on their behalf. Let me tell you, there's a little summary of what happened when they praised and worshipped the Lord. There was physical breakthrough. The earthquake happened and their chains fell off. That was physical. There was emotional breakthrough because the other prisoners were listening to them. And as they were singing and as they were praying, those prisoners must have had their own spirits lifted up. And they, they didn't run away. Well, the minute the prison was open, they didn't run away. They stayed there. They, they were responding emotionally to the word of God. There was spiritual breakthrough. The jailer and his family came to know Jesus. And there was revelational breakthrough. There was a revelation of God's word. They realized that God is bigger than in their circumstances and for you and I this morning as we praise and worship God we can get a physical breakthrough you can receive healing you can receive an answer in some area of your life that you trust in God for you can receive an emotional breakthrough you can deal with the depression you've been battling with you can deal with um, possibly uh, the, the, the sense of not belonging the sense of disconnection from the Lord you can get that this morning you can get a spiritual breakthrough if you don't feel close to the Lord as we praise and worship the Lord today. Let Him come. Let Him envelop you with His presence and let that, that relationship of yours be restored uh, to the Lord. And then you can get a revelation breakthrough. You can see that as you praise and worship the Lord, how your circumstances are going to change. That's what I want to encourage you in this morning. As we praise and worship the Lord. Yes, our focus is on Him. We want to lift Him up. We want to glorify Him. We want to magnify Him. But there's a result. When you and I praise and worship the Lord, things change. And our circumstances are going to change today. I prayed earlier this morning. I said, Lord, I pray for healing. I pray for deliverance. Demons must flee. Even as we praise and worship the Lord out of your house, even out of your life. If it comes out in a shout, let it go. Let it go. And say, get out in Jesus' name. Let joy come back into your life. Let joy come into your marriage. Let healing come into your body. Let depression go out the back door. And receive a touch from the Lord. If nothing else, sense His presence and His closeness. And have a time of intimacy with Him. And let Him reveal to you how much He loves you. When they dedicated the, Solomon, uh, the, the temple of Solomon, the Lord's cloud, the cloud of His glory fell and the priest couldn't stand to minister. You can receive that in your house. Dedicate your house to the Lord as you praise and worship Him today. And let His presence just come and fall. Let the cloud of the glory of God come into your household. You can read about that in Chronicles 5 verse 13 to 14. I'm not going to go there. When Jehoshaphat and his people were opposed by a massive army that they could never deal with. They prayed and they sought the Lord. And the prophet said, go out tomorrow and stand and praise. And as they praised, God turned that army against itself. Three days they carried away the spoil from that battlefield and they didn't have to lift a weapon what battle are you facing this morning as you praise and worship the lord that battle is going to be won in the spiritual realm and you're going to carry away the spoils of victory do you believe that this morning type it i believe i'm going to carry away some spoils of victory today i want to just finish this short little message i'm, I'm sharing with you before we start to worship the benefits of praise and worship are this. First of all, God's presence. He inhabits the praises of His people. You're bringing down His presence. We will experience His power when we praise and worship God. His power is manifest. There's a song that says, when the praises go up, the glory comes down. Let His glory fall in your household. And finally, when you praise and worship God, trust Him that He's going to bring deliverance. He's going to allow His anointing to fall. And He is going to move in your life and in your home and your household and your family like you've never experienced in your life before. Do you believe God for that?
I do. I believe for it. The enemy thought he struck us a blow by keeping us out of church this morning. Well, like when he nailed Jesus on the cross, he's going to be made a spectacle of again this morning as you and I rise up in praise and worship. So don't hold back. Don't worry about your family member that can hear you singing and praising the Lord. Don't worry about the neighbor's dog that's barking or the people mowing their lawn somewhere else. Focus on the Lord. Enter his presence with praise and worship. And let's see what God is going to do. I see Vanessa has also joined us. Vanessa Shablana. It's good to see you there. So for everybody that's online with us, are you ready to praise? Maybe you can type that on your screen. I'm ready. Um, so I'm ready to praise. I'm just going to take a sip of water. I'm ready to praise. Do you have faith? Let's start to praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. This is a song that we sing regularly in church. Um, it's one of the newest songs that Kirsty leads us in. I was buried beneath Are you willing to run out of that grave 
that grave that the enemy is trying to keep you in, that grave of depression, that grave of frustration, that grave of sickness. Let's trust the Lord. Our faith can do the impossible. My faith can do the impossible.
sing those words, Lord, restore the joy I had. You know, in Psalm 51, where David is repenting, he says, Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Sometimes we drift away from the Lord. We stop praising Him. We stop doing the things we know that are key to our relationship with the Lord, key to our walk with the Lord. And as we were singing that, I sensed that there's people that need their joy back. Do you know that joy is part of the fruit of the Spirit? The fruit of the Spirit is the three first three things that I mentioned. Love, joy, and peace. So joy is the second word in the fruit of the Spirit. If you've lost your joy, it's time to worship the Lord. It's time to praise the Lord. It's time to come into His presence and allow Him, because you are acknowledging Him through praise and worship, to allow Him to restore your joy. I want you to type on your screen, particularly... If you're battling with it. And I want you to do this as a confession. Lord will you please restore my joy. Let me tell you this morning. And number one. Christy is my daughter. I don't, do not want her to be sick. And anyway. And, and of course. Gareth is my son-in-law. I love him too. I don't want them to be sick. I love the worship team. They are part of our family. And I love you. So, of course, the first thing that happened was the enemy tried to rob me of my joy. Then I realized, no, hang on a second, yeah. I'm going to praise the Lord regardless because the enemy is not going to steal my joy from me. Bless the Lord for that. So, Rita, welcome by us. I don't know if he meals with you, but welcome to both of you if you're together. It's so nice to see you. We're going to start to worship the Lord. But think about what I said. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit in me. I wasn't going to sing that song, but let's just sing it. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart oh God and renew a right spirit within me take me not away from your presence oh Lord take not thy Holy Spirit from me restore unto me Spirit and renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart. Oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. Oh Lord, we love you.
Lord, we pray renew a right spirit in us. Take us not away from your presence. I pray for joy to be restored. Did you sense the Lord's presence coming? I did. Uh, I'm actually emotional. His presence is amazing. The enemy through this COVID pandemic, through the problems you've been facing, he's trying to rob you of your joy. Joy is one of the most amazing gifts and, and um, treasures you and I have as a result of our salvation. We can be joyful at times when there's no reason to be joyful because of who our God is. He is amazing. And let us just ask the Lord, Lord, I just pray, release joy. I pray even in people's households. Lord, I even reach out my hand. I'm not worried that I'm online. A centurion came to you and said, you don't have to come into my home. Just pray and my servant will be healed. Lord, I pray for restoration of joy for our congregation, for every person that watches this, whether it's right now live or later on, I, I ask for a release of joy. And I thank you that joy, the virtue of joy flows into people's lives even right now. And we will hear testimony of what you've done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let us exalt our God this morning. Lord, I lift your name on high. I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show
make those words apply to any circumstance in our lives. Lord, have your way in my home. Lord, have your way in my home. Make it a prayer over your home. Lord, have your way in my home. Lord, have marriage. Lord, have your way in my marriage. Lord, have your way in my marriage. Come on, folks. declare those words over their households then marriages are healed I pray for restoration of marriages I pray that love will rise Lord that these couples that are watching this morning that may have been having struggles will look at one another with eyes of love that they will see what they fell in love with initially and realize that because of putting their own agenda first Lord, that they've lost focus on why they love each other. I pray that people will fall in love all over again. Lord, maybe there's couples here that love each other, that they've been loving each other for years. I pray you give them a fresh, a fresh love for one another. Let them get fresh with each other, Lord, if I dare say that online like this in a service. Because if you've created marriage for love, you've created for happiness. You've created it for joy. And then I come against cancer. I curse cancer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bind every cancer cell that is manifest or present in any person online with us today. I come against that thing in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of cancer. The Lord rebuke you. You take your hand off of the people that are watching, off of every household and every person in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray also for Cheryl and Arthur. I don't know if they're online with us, but I pray for their grandchild with muscular dystrophy. We come against that name, that big, long medical name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The name that is above every other name at which yes, every Lord. knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And sickness bows in that name. I come against COVID in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against diabetes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against migraines in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against epilepsy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against um, uh, Lord um, ulcers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And 
uh, even things like arthritis, heart problems, neck problems, back problems, kidney problems. The Lord rebuke all sickness and disease that is manifest upon the lives of anybody online with us today and upon the bodies of any of their families and their loved ones. We come against it in Jesus' name and we lose healing virtue in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you that this is a grace gift. I can't demand it. But Lord, by faith, I can speak it because you told us Amen. we will stand on snakes and scorpions and they'll by no means harm us. Amen. Lord, we will cast out demons in your name. We will pray for the sick and they will be healed. That's what your word says. And that is what we do this morning during this time of praise and worship. And I thank you that the testimonies will come before the end of the service. Even as we are still busy, people will start WhatsApping and saying, Something's changed in my body. The headache that I had is gone. The pain that I felt in my shoulder is gone. I can feel, I can see that, that, that cancer lesions have actually just fallen off of me. I can see better because God has touched my eyes. I thank you, Lord, that even things we haven't prayed for are being touched right now. Hallelujah. 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 I would declare this over you Hallelujah. this morning. I am the Lord that healed thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Sing it with me. You are the Lord that healeth me. You are the Lord that healeth me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Folk, I believe that this morning God is busy working in the service. I believe that this service is going to go beyond just what you and I are experiencing right now. Do you know that they would bring handkerchiefs to Paul and he would pray over them and the people would take them and lay them on sick people and those people would be healed. I want to ask you after the service to take this message on Facebook and forward it to your friends that are ill, to your family members that are ill, to your family members that have got marital problems, to your family members that are unemployed. Send it to them. Say, listen to this because God has got something for you. Be part of the miracle. God is going to do something. I'm telling you, God is busy doing something this morning. Send this message on. Send it on. Let it be like no other message that we've had online. Send it on. Because it's God that is moving. Not me. It's God. Hallelujah. And we give Him all the glory. All the honor. Hallelujah. Here I am waiting. Bye. this morning church as we sing that verse I sense that God is going to free people of demonic possession yes it can happen there in your home 
as you sing this verse, this verse, come live in me all my life, take over. I just thank you, Lord, that we have authority in the name of Jesus. And any demon spirit that is in you, as you invite the Holy Spirit and as you invite Jesus to come and take full control of your life, he's going to flee. So if you've been buffeted, if you've been oppressed, possessed, or depressed by the devil, as you sing this song with us, trust God that those demons will flee. Hallelujah. We've got authority. We've got power. Do you believe it can happen? If an entire army could be defeated while the people of Jehoshaphat praise God, surely a couple of demons will flee. singing that song you might have had a coughing fit or you may have coughed a couple of times that would have been demons coming out you may be feeling lighter after singing that song that is one of the evidences we've seen over time that the demons are gone you come in the name of Jesus you say get out of my home so that they cannot remain there let's sing that verse one more time come live my life a good person down when the Holy Spirit is there when Jesus is there when the power the blood of Jesus Christ is there the enemy cannot keep you down let's sing about Jesus oh the enemy hates it when we sing about Jesus my beloved the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is
salvation Lord we welcome you here in our homes come and have your way in our midst come and have your way in our lives Come and take control of our lives once again. We come to praise you. We come to worship you. We come to bow in your presence, Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Let's just wait on the Holy Spirit to speak to us this morning. Yeshua, our Lord. I really feel impressed on my heart uh, about marriages. And the Lord has been speak to, speaking to me as we've been worshipping about marriages. Perhaps your marriage is not what you thought it would be. Perhaps um, your partner uh, passed away and you'd planned a life, lifelong um, with them and you feel disappointed and you feel discouraged because now you are alone. And the Lord would say that he is your husband and he will take care of you. And then for those of you who have broken marriages, you, you were married and you are either separated or you are divorced, um, and things uh, you you lived a godly life, but uh, things in your marriage fell apart, and uh, you feel uh, angry or you are feeling frustrated because you did everything that was right, and now things have gone wrong. 
And the Lord is saying to you this morning, uh, even in these difficult circumstances that you face or find yourself in, I am still with you. I will bring you through. Uh, the days may be dark now, but look to me and know that I am the one that will lift you up and I will restore you and that which the enemy has seek to rob you of your joy and your peace and your patience, the Lord will restore to you a hundredfold. And those uh, where there has been financial loss, the Lord says, look to me to be your provider and I'm the one who will uh, restore the fortunes that uh, the enemy has robbed from you. And even like Job, I, God replaced, gave Job far more than what he had beforehand. And so God is our faithful God and he will restore to us that yes. which the enemy has tried to rob us from. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Cheryl. I just sense that the Lord had a word. Are you receiving this morning? God is with us, church. This is phenomenal. His presence is powerful here with us this morning. Let us continue to praise and worship. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. Don't leave now. Don't leave now. God's not finished. God's not finished. Lord, we thank you that you're not finished with us. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that your mercy is new every morning. <laughs> and your joy is upon us. And we bless you today, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. Come on, tell him you love him. Say, I love you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Shout it out. Shout it in your household. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. We want to reverence you. We want to give you reverence this morning. Oh, the glory. Of your presence, we your temple give you reverence, Lord. By our praise as we glory in your embrace as your presence now fills this place. Standing on hold. 
all around Let us bring Come let us praise Jesus now We are standing in God's presence on holy ground Sing it again. We are standing on holy ground, and I know that there are angels all around. Let us pray. to reach out whatever you may need yes the glory is here I can sense his mighty presence in the spare atmosphere so whatever you may need you just reach out and receive and say it's mine I'll take it now oh the glory is here oh the glory is here yes the glory is here I can sense his mighty presence in the spare atmosphere. So whatever you may need, you just reach out and receive and say it's mine. Lord, I want to pray this morning as your glory is here, as your presence is here. Father, the place where we are standing is a sanctuary because your presence is in the place where we are standing. Lord, the place where we are standing is holy because you are here making it holy. Lord, and as we stand here in your presence crying out to you, we have been made holy through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are the righteousness of God in and through Christ Jesus, who having no sin, became sin on our behalf. And as your people reach out to you now, and I want to encourage you folk, just reach out. I pray that they will receive whatever it is. We've ministered a lot this morning, but whatever it is that they need, Maybe it's just a touch to say, my child, I love you. I still love you. I haven't forgotten about you. Maybe it's a mighty healing as we've prayed about cancer. Maybe even HIV AIDS. Maybe there's a lung that's been damaged by COVID or a heart that's been damaged by COVID. Lord, I pray as they reach out to you that they will receive. Oh, the glory is here. Yes, the glory is here. I can sense His mighty presence in the very atmosphere. So whatever you may need, you just reach out. And receive and 
and say it's mine I'll take it now Well, we're going to sing two more songs and we're going to close this service. I believe God has moved. I believe you've received. If you've received a touch from the Lord this morning, put a thumb up or put a heart up even better. And um, I want to encourage you as you go through this day. And don't leave now. Let's finish. Let's finish. Let's honor the presence of the Holy Spirit. As you go through this day, let the Lord's presence be with you. Let Him do what He's going to do. Look at all of those thumbs and hearts going up. God has touched us. You see, He's not limited to a building. He's not limited to a building. He's limited when to what we limit Him to. So if you're willing to trust Him in faith, you can be on the top of Mount Everest. You can be in the lowest mine in South Africa, in the bottom depths of that mine. You can be in the bottom of the sea. It doesn't matter where you are, He can touch you. Or you can be in your lounge or your bedroom or your house, wherever you are. He's there. Let's just sing worthy is the Lamb. Because He is worthy. He's been with us this morning. There it is. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain.
with me this morning. I'll pray and you can repeat it. Our Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Our Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that you have not forgotten us. We thank you, Lord, that you have not forgotten us. We thank you for the gift of praise and worship. We thank you for the gift of praise and worship. We thank you that you indwell our praises. We thank you that you indwell our praises. And that we are in your presence right now. That we are in your presence right now. We thank you that you do wonders. We thank you that you do wonders. And miracles. And miracles. You help us. You help us. You free us. You free us. You deliver us. You deliver us. You heal us. You heal us. You save us. You save us. When we come into your presence. When we come into your we presence. We thank you for the power. We thank you for the power. Of the blood. Of the blood. Of Jesus Christ, of your Jesus son. Of Jesus Christ, your son. And we want to declare this morning. And we want to declare this morning. That we morning. love you. That we love you. And we appreciate you. And we appreciate you. And we've just enjoyed. And we've just enjoyed. Being in your presence. Being in your presence. Today. Hallelujah. 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 Maybe you can type an amen. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> I needed that church. I needed it. We needed it. We need to come into the Lord's presence. Isn't he amazing? He's so faithful. He's so good. Now, if you have put up your hand, or if you've received uh, or, or responded in any way today in this service, you need to go out in faith. You need to go believing that God has touched you. Amen? Amen. Amen. I don't even know if we could have had this good a time in church this morning. I must be honest with you. Because God knows. He planned. He knew ahead of time what was going to happen. So we're going to trust the Lord for a wonderful, wonderful day and good news for our worship team and for Kusta and Gareth. I just, I know it already, they're going to be fine. And we're going to trust the Lord with that. So thank you everybody that has joined us. If you've been online with us and you've enjoyed it and you're visiting, you're welcome to contact us via WhatsApp uh, or, or Facebook Messenger. Uh, it's on our Facebook page, Christian Heritage Church Krugersdorp, this page that we're on right now. For the rest of the church, if anybody, particularly when I was speaking about uh, deliverance, if, if you had some form of manifestation and you want us to pray with you or help you through it, there's power in the blood of Jesus Christ and we have authority. We are more than willing to help you. And if you want us to pray for you for anything, we're your shepherds. We love you and we will be here for you. I want us to close this service with a song, Let Us Praise. I wrote it when we were on holiday. I did send it to you. But maybe what you didn't know was I was on a personal low. I was on a real low. And the Lord gave me this song. So you might not know the words, but just listen to it. Let it minister to you. And then when we're done, I'm going to ask Pastor Cheryl to close the service for us, with us in prayer. Please do send us testimonies. And please do forward this message. Because I believe that people who watch it are going to be touched by the Lord. Amen. Not because of us, but because of His presence. Amen. He can use technology. Like I said, if you could heal that centurion servant, he can use a cell phone message to heal somebody. Amen. Let us praise the Lord our God and Savior. Let us praise the one who 
makes us free Let us bless the name of Jesus Christ our King for He has given us the victory I will praise I will praise the Lord my God and Savior I will bless the Lord my victory did you receive victory today? I will bless His name for He has made me free. Glory to Your name, Jesus, my King. Glory to Your name. The name above all names. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord, my God and Savior. We must remember to praise Him. I will bless the Lord, my victory. I will bless His name, for He has made me free. Glory to Your name, Jesus, my King. Thank you so much for being with us. Remember to praise the name of Jesus Christ, your Lord and your Savior. Graham, it's so good to see you online with us. I hope you were with us the whole service. If not, go and listen to it. You'll enjoy it. Bless you. Have a wonderful week. Let me hand over to Pastor Cheryl, and she'll close for us. In prayer. Um, just but before I go, I want to remind the parents that uh, the children's church uh, uh, les lesson will be posted shortly. Go and have a look at it. Uh, we are talking about creation, and uh, it's a lovely curriculum that we are using. So go and have a look. Kathy uh, uh, has prepared the lesson for today. She would have done it in children's ministry this morning, but now uh, because we are closed. We um, are having to do it online, although we are always our children's lessons have continued to be online. Um, so go and have a look and share um, what we have posted as well with others as well. Let's pray. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for your presence in our homes. We thank you, that Lord, that you have lifted up our spirits Amen. and that, Lord, that you have met our needs. Lord, I pray that the people would continue to be rejoicing because of what you have done. And we thank you, Lord, that you are sovereign over all. You know all things. Uh, and as we bring things to you, that, Lord, that you are the one that is listening and attentive to our call and our cry. And as we've praised and worshipped you this morning, we know that you have been with us. Amen. We bless your name, Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you all. Have a wonderful day. And by your, the Lord's grace, we'll see you in church next Sunday morning. Bye-bye, everybody. Be blessed, everyone.